listen, the people be mad when I give my honest opinion. What it ain't y'all? This girl such a craziness. I'm coming to you, 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 and you with another word on the street segment. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. So, Dr. Heavily and Carlos, you know they had a messy Mondays, and they do the recap for the episode that happened on Sunday. Now, before she started, you know, getting into the recap, she, you know, waited on Carlos. He was a little late, but she wanted to address. <laughs> the elephant in the room aka that tweet she put out about dr g in the hashtag she said now if y'all didn't know her and sweet tea was going back and forth over the weekend and sweet tea had said something she didn't like well she went after her business and she was like okay since you go i'm um, doing that i'm gonna go to hell on you so she went and she posted this right here dr g is not respected in the community and that's real talk abuser controller the p word teen daddy and married to medicine now for this recap that she does with carlos she wanted to apologize for what she had said um basically saying that you know she did the whole thing sweet tea did kind of is what i'm getting at she said something in the moment she had to take it back let's rewind let's rewind when we got on that live and i said what i said i'm gonna apologize publicly that i did not mean what i said about her mother it was just something that slipped out but damn it i can only take so much because y'all out here acting like like this was just the first time that I had said anything about it. Like, like she's been talking about me constantly. So I can only take so much. Okay. And, you know, we get, you say stuff in the heat of the moment. What you, first thing that comes to your mind, you want to say it and spray it. Okay. But some things that you know is not true or anything like that, you just shouldn't even step on it. That's why you're supposed to be slow to anger, you know, quick to listen, uh, slow to speak, slow to anger, okay? But, um, yes, yeah, so let's listen to what Dr. Heavily had to say in her apology. Let me tell y'all this. Let me see how I'm going to put this. Listen, I put something out there on Twitter. I think it was Twitter. Twitter, you know, I'd be all over the place. Listen, I, how can I put this? I said, listen, I typed something I shouldn't have typed. I deleted it. Then people screenshot it and it went all over the world. I want to apologize for putting that out there. That P word that I called out of G. But my whole thing is this, and I'm going to say it and I'm going to take it back. Listen, this little girl been downplaying my businesses. She been downplaying, doing a whole lot of stuff behind the scenes because she ain't got shit to lose because of this, this reunion didn't go the way she wanted to. And it kind of went really bad for her. And to the point where some things that I can't even really talk about happen. So she's a, she's coming at me real hard. I'm telling you, one night I saw it, and when she said I was I wasn't respected in the medical, you ain't got shit to lose. She ain't got nothing to lose. So my whole thing is, if you coming for me that way, I'm coming for your man that way. Because if you lie on me, I'm gonna tell the truth about your man. You ain't got nothing to lose. You don't. You don't. So all this stuff I hear about Dr. G and all this. You might want to keep quiet. Dr. G, get your wife. I apologize for the P word, and I didn't mean to put it out there, but, I, you know, I took it back. I took it back. I recant that. But the other stuff, y'all going to leave me alone. Please leave me alone. I don't know how to play like this. If you coming for my profession, I don't like it. And I'm coming for your mans because there's a lot of stuff out there, allegedly. I'm going to say allegedly. But you don't want none of this because I don't think that Sweet Tea know. She don't, but I'm not going to speak on her, but you better leave me alone, girl, because there's so much out there, girl. Leave me alone. I swear to Jesus, leave me alone because I don't know how to play. I don't know how to play with you. I don't. So leave me alone. I know the, the reunion didn't go for you. My whole thing is this, and I ain't going to talk about this woman too long. I'm going to do for, uh, for um, Carlos to come in. 
you need to be mad at your man. He the one disrespected you all over the place. They played it on the previews, but they ain't played all of it, girl. You need to go slap that man, okay? He done disrespected you. He looking at quiet. He fantasizing over Phaedra. Listen, the people felt very uncomfortable. Please don't come at me. Please don't come at me because I'm going to shut you down every time, okay? I'm not going to play with this little girl. First, I was like, you know what? I'm going to leave her alone. The, you know, I, it's, it's beneath me. But you ain't going to come saying negative stuff about me and my businesses and think I'm not going to lie on my husband and think I'm not going to tell the truth on yours. So let it go. Let it go. Please, Dr. G, get your woman because it's going to go really ugly and I don't want the show to go bad. In fact, this is what I'm going to do so it does not go bad. I ain't with her no more. I'm not talking about it. I done said it before, but I'm not talking about it because she wants attention. It's Toya. I would say allegedly Toya sent her out there and Toya them pushing her up. They pushing her up to come at me and she just stupid enough to do it because she sent a tweet based on the um, finale, you know, based on Toya. So I'm thinking it was her, but I'm going to just tell y'all, leave me alone. I don't know how to play fair. Oh, Carlos is here, so let's bring him to the stage. Carlos! Hey, boo, hey! Oh, I had to set some things straight and, you know, apologize for some stuff I said, but I done did Oh, so you did that without me because I had questions, baby. Don't ask me questions, but my whole thing is I'm not going to speak on this little no more. Because if she come after my business again, I'm coming after her husband's business. And if she lie on me, I'm going to tell the truth about him. That's what I'm going to do. It's too much out there. It's too much out there. Leave me alone because she don't have shit to lose. If she think it's between the women, oh, you brought my man in it. You're going to lie on my man. I'm going to tell the truth on yours. And I'm going to so say it because I'm going to say it, but I'm going to let it go. Anyway, let's talk about the, the uh, finale. Well, before we do that, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Congratulations. Do you want us to so, answer questions or no? Because some people are saying they don't like it when we answer questions. But then I all, it was they listen, they like it. They like it. So this is the structure that they want. So first of all, Hi, boop. Is is it boopies or boobies? It's boopies. It's my boopies. Yes. They okay. love that name. Hi, boopies and hi, raindrops. I love you too, Isaac Ma. Um, what what they would like for us to do is to recap the show first and then read the super chats after that. Now, yeah. one thing one thing we can do is do a little bit of both, you know, okay. depending on the question and the super chat flows with everything so uh -huh. first of all i want to say this fantastic finale thank you thank you it was a thank really you. look at me getting myself together it was a really 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 good finale i really enjoyed it so kudos there where would you like to begin though because do you before we do the episode i did see what was transpiring on Twitter. <clears throat> right. Right. I already went into that. And I'm like, listen, I apologize for one part that I deleted right away. You deleted but deleted it. You deleted like, it. They, they, I they love you, Shannon. Right you deleted it, yes. Right. So what is going on? Because this is a thing that and, and I want I want to hear from you about it. It seems like my opinion, you're being targeted because you're being poked at so that you can't react the way you did so that can be used against you. Absolutely, but don't poke the bear and don't think I'm gonna maul you because I'm gonna maul you every time. Now, I did make one mistake and I apologize for that. I put it out there and I took it back. You took it back. <laughs> you're not going to attack my business. You're not going to do that and think I'm not going to sit idly by when you don't have anything to lose. I'm coming and I'm going to tell the truth about you and your husband and his business. Okay? It's a lot out there. I'm going to say allegedly. But don't think I'm going to sit here and allow you to do that and think it's standing between the women because that's not what's going to happen because you don't have anything to lose. She bad-mouthed Dr. Heavenly University. She came. It's a whole story. I didn't support it. This heifer paid my hard-earned money in support of Heavenly's business. And what she does, she goes and talks about my house, 
and what I could do about the house and all that publicly. Now, mind you, I, I, as a friend, I was supporting another friend. My neighbor has done way more for me than what Heavenly has ever done for me. She's never spent a dime on helping me get my business up and, up and running. She ain't helped me with a goddamn thing. But I'm going to leave it alone. And I'm not going to speak on her no more because she done went eight crazy. And I know a whole lot of stuff happened at the reunion. Y'all got to watch the reunion. It happened before and after. And when I can, I can tell y'all everything. But they're telling me not to speak on it right now. Okay? So y'all going to leave yeah. me alone. Y'all ain't going to come at me. And y'all not going to beat that to heavenly ass. Y'all not going to do that. And just say that. Well, my advice to you is this. One thing I know about doing this for almost 20 years, people will try to attack you because they want a response out of you so that they can use that against you and say, see, this is what they did. Y'all need to take action and do X, Y, and Z. That's why, look, you keep the show alive with your tweets. We keep it alive as well with our Messy Mondays. Um, I don't want you to get out of character because someone poked you who may not have as much to lose as you. Right. But if you talk about, you know, people that's dead in my family, if you talk about my business, sometimes right. I lose my religion and you understand, you could see how that can happen. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that. And you ain't got shit. And I'm, you know, but anyway, let's move forward. I don't even want to talk about it no more. That girl is dirt to me. I'm not speaking on it anymore. I made us start out and I, you know, I can deflate that shit too. Okay. So let's move okay, on. Okay. But, 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 but one thing I want you to clear up, they want to move on. Okay. Let's clear it up. She exposed some text messages between the two of you. And a lot of people, and I am people, um, we, a lot of people are like, they were um, real. They were she, real. A lot of times people do text messages and they're not real. Those were real text messages. Yeah. But it made you look good because it's like heavenly already said she, 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 she'll do what's best for the show. And it, to me, it did not expose anything besides you being a ghost producer that you said on, on, on our, on our YouTube channel that. You knew this was going to be good for the show. So that's why you reached out. But not only that, I reached out to a lot of different people. And I find out who yeah. they're actually speaking to. And then I give them tips on how to do things. To me, she should be thanking me. I didn't understand that. I didn't understand why you're trying to expose me and all of that with, with text messages. To me, all it did was confirm everything I said. You know what I'm saying? You said, I said that her, him and her husband was a better fit than her and Quad. I've said that on, on my YouTube. I mean it. I mean, you know, yeah. I was giving her tips on hair and makeup. That's all. It was just stupid. You don't but, care um, about that. Let it go. I'm not going to speak on that girl anymore. Well, we're done. We're not going to talk about it. I told you my my last comment. I told you last time don't be talking about it because you, you, I, know I, what, saw, you I saw what was happening. I saw what was happening and I said I see what's going on. I'm going to bow out. I'm I'm good. It ain't that deep. It's 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 like child. I'm good. It ain't that deep. It is not that deep. You know what I'm saying? So I, you know. See, I'll tell what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Do you think Dr. Heavily sincerely was apologizing or she got a little backlash and she was like, look, I got to set this straight. So it is what it is, but like, you ain't coming for my man or any of my businesses. Okay. Period. Point blank. Because you know I'll go there. Let me know and I'll see you on the next one.